In this quick video, we are gonna go over bow crafting in Mortal Online 2. So let's head over to the bow table here, the bow crafting table. Now, there are three different types of bows. There's a short bow, long bow, and the asymmetrical bow. Short bow is great for foot combat and mounted. It does have the lowest damage and the lowest stamina cost, but it also has the fastest speed of firing. Then we have the longbow, which is foot only. You can only use it on foot. Has the highest damage, highest stamina cost, and has the lowest firing speed. Then as you can guess, the asymmetrical bow is a combination of the two, kind of a middle ground. It can be used on foot or mounted. It has average damage between short and long, nothing, nothing like crazy, but it's, you know, it's good enough. And it has uh, average stamina cost and uh, average firing speed. So each bow can be made in two different ways. You can do a D-curve or a recurve. D-curve, more durability, less damage. Recurve, more damage, less durability. So depending on what you want out of the bow, that's why you would pick the shape. Then obviously the type, which I discussed just a second ago. Then you have to figure out material setups. You can do single material or composite. So each bow can be one of these. Now, if you do single material, versus composite. Composite means basically it's got two components. So you have like a soft component and a hard component. You use two materials instead of one. The only benefit of composite is the ability to tailor or control the damage the bow does and the strength that is required to use it. So you're only gonna wanna do composite if you're making a specific bow for a specific character. The single material is most likely the normal way you're gonna craft bows. Now we get into the arrows. So the broadhead is the highest damage, average weak spot, and your default arrow. So that'll be the arrow you're going to use the most. That's kind of the, the main line arrow. Then we got the bodkin. They have a lower damage, but they have a higher weak spot. So if you're trying to go for weak spot hits, bodkins are really good, but they're mostly used in group fights or in big, you know, guild wars or skirmishes, to my understanding, due to the fact that they don't do a lot of damage, so you're going to be really trying to aim for those weak spots, and you're going to need a lot of them. Then you have your longbow arrows, which are the only arrows that work for the longbow. Obviously, them being the longbow, they have the highest damage, lowest weak spot chance, and they are very good at killing low armored targets, such as mages, horses. You know, you got naked people running around. You'll take them out real quick with a longbow. And that's pretty much it. Those are your uh, those are your three different types of bows. Those are your three different types of arrows. The two different ways you can craft, the D-curve, recurve, the asymmetrical. I mean, that that's going to do it. That's about it, guys. So thank you for watching the video. If it helped you out, please leave me a like down below. It's, uh, it's very nice to figure out how stuff works because this game is very complicated. So if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below, and I'd be happy to answer them. I plan on doing more videos in the future, so stay, uh, stay looking out for my videos if you want some more info to help out new players. All right, guys, have a good one, and I will see you later. Peace, guys.